How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and over here we talk stocks and we focus on one thing. Always protect your profits. And today we're going to be talking about Lucid, which had a volatile time inside of the market. Like I said in my previous video, you want to keep an eye on the 10 year yield. We also had the CPI data, plus you want to keep an eye on the overall market conditions. Take a look at the SPY, take a look at the EV sector. So as far as the volatility is concerned, it was to be expected considering how the overall markets were performing. You guys got the heads up. I know some of you sent me messages that you were able to bank some profits on some calls and as well as some puts. I won't waste any more time. Let's jump into the agenda. If you're new to this channel, I just want to let you know we have timestamps down below inside the description. But if you're a shareholder or you're thinking about taking a position, I highly suggest you watch this full entire video. So the first thing we're going to go over is the technical analysis. We're going to be taking a look at the overall price action. We want to know support. We want to know resistance. We want to know what it looks like in the bearish case scenario and as well as in the bullish case scenario. And then we're going to go on Fintel taking a look at the recent institutional ownership and short interest information. The reason why this is important because it does have an impact on the way the stock performs. And then we're going to be taking a look at the order flow distribution. We want to know the buying and the selling behavior on the retail side and as well as on the institutional side. And then when all of that is done, we'll be going into the final thoughts and as well as some more details. So let's get to it. So we're going to do a technical analysis for Lucid. Let's see how it performed on the day so it ended up closing at $27.91 being down 3.19% on the low it tested $27.44 and then on the high testing $29.40 when we take a look at the volume stats on the day you can see we traded at 24.291 million shares and the average volume over 10 trading days is at 31.882 million shares so we did have below average volume on the day and we did see a pullback inside the stock, but keep in mind, we ended up seeing a high of $29.40. Now, when we take a look at our chart, which is the daily chart, you can see from the RSI down below, it is at 36.44. And then when we take a look at our moving averages here on the chart, we are below the 50-day, the 100-day, the 21-day EMA, and as well as the 200-day. So like I was saying in previous videos, I wanted to see some price action from Lucid being above that 200 day so it ended up seeing a high of $29.40 so we were able to see that for a brief moment of course it did pull back like the rest of the market and it was able to actually hold up support right at $27.91 so going into tomorrow what you want to see can it hold up this $27.50 area on the low it ended up testing $27.44 so if $27.50 can hold and the markets are strong then I'm going to be looking for another retest to the 200 day right here at $29.24 but most preferably what you'd want to see is it being able to surpass the resistance of $29.40 and this is where we have the psychological level right here at 30 bucks which we know there could be some selling pressure here but if the demand is there and there's a lot of buying volume we should be able to get past it and things can get very interesting if it could reclaim the 21 day EMA right here at $31.90 or let's just call that right around $32 and of course you want to see if you can get past 32.50 we know that is a big time psychological area as well and that will really confirm the strength that we're seeing in lucid they do have earnings that is coming up near the end of the month who knows that might be that catalyst to push it up further but for the most part things are looking pretty decent looks like it is holding up support as you can see around here and i wouldn't be too concerned unless it breaks through these levels as you see from below 27 and so on so let's go on to the short interest information so we're going to take a look at the recent institutional ownership and short interest information information for lucid so green rows indicate new positions while red rows indicate closed positions so we can see right away from the recent filings for the 10th it has been extremely busy so let's get to it so we have four Sheridan advisors llc with a closed position we also have skanda visca and savika banking that purchased 73,515 shares we have jump financial that purchased 16,560 shares we also have standard life average plc that purchased 6859 shares we also have crane fund advisors llc that purchased just over 209,000 shares we also have picked it asset management that purchased just over 129,000 shares we also 
of Confluence Wealth Advisors, Inc. that purchased just over 4,700 shares. We also have Paradigm Financial Advisors that purchased just over 27,000 shares. And we also have Citigroup, Inc. with a put with the value of shares being at over 2.2 million. And then we also see Citigroup with calls and we see the value at 855,000 shares. We also have Aviva PLC with a position of 17,419 shares. We have Rafiti Asset Management LLC that purchased just under 103,000 shares. We also have Crew Advisors LLC that purchased 220 shares. We have Corset Asset Management LLC that purchased just over 25,000 shares. We also have Norjikin Bank that purchased 13,666 shares. We also have Wonderlit Securities Inc. that purchased 10,220 shares. And we also have Industrial Alliance Investment Management Inc. that purchased 3,324 shares. And then we can see we have Prospera Financial Services Inc. that purchased 8,312 shares. We also have Core Cap Advisors LLC that purchased 1,318 shares. And we also have Connor Clark Lund Investment Management Limited that purchased 75,158 shares. We also have Shorepoint Advisors LLC that purchased 35 shares. We also have Wisdom Tree 9060 US Balance Fund that purchased 11,301 shares. We also have Teacher Retirement System of Texas that purchased 77,190 shares. We also have TD Asset Management that purchased just under 143,000 shares. We have a close position from Cribstone Capital Management LLC as well. And that sums it up for the 10. So again, institutions loading up heavy on Lucid. Now, when we take a look at the short interest, the dark pool short volume ratio is at 54.35%. And then for the dark pool short volume being just over 5.5 million shares. Scrolling down further on the page, the short shares availability is at 300,000, updated 25 minutes ago. And then for the short ball fee rate being at 20.14%. When we take a look at the history of the short volume, we can see for the close of the 8th, it was at 53.72. And then for the close of the 9th, which was yesterday, being at 54.35. So what this tells us, Lucid does have short squeeze potential. So this is why when you have buying volume coming into the stock and we have strong market conditions, we can see the stock move very well. So now let's move on to the order flow distribution. Now let's take a look at the order flow distribution for Lucid. So we see here on the inflows at 121 and then on the outflows at 156. So it was an outflow day. And then when we take a look at the breakdown on the large, it was zero. On the medium, it was 48.62. And then on the small, it was 72.02. Taking a look at the outflow side, you can see on the large, it was zero. On the medium, it was 69.64. And then on the small, it was 86.39. Taking a look Look at the large scale orders in the last five days you can see for today february the 10th we had zero and then when we analyze the numbers even further for the small scale orders that tend to represent the retail side we had more selling than we had buying and then when we take a look at what happened on the medium we had more selling than we have buying and of course for the large it represents whales institutions or funds we ended up having zero on both sides and then when we take a look at the turnover ratio it was at 1.48 percent so this still remains to be a consistent range for Lucid. And what this shows us, there are many who are still holding on to their shares. And we can see as far as when we took a look at the recent institutional ownership, institutions have been loading up on that dip. So again, it's going to be very interesting going into tomorrow. We'll talk about it further inside of the final thoughts. So let's get into it right now. So for my final thoughts for Lucid, in regards to the price action, you want to see if you can hold up the support that it has at $27.50. If this level breaks under $27, $27, Lucid does look fairly weak. Overall on the day, it ended up seeing a high above the 200 day moving average, but it was only briefly. So knowing that it's still close below the 200 day, it is still technically in a bear market. So that's why I'm saying if there's market weakness and it falls below 27, you already know there could be some downside potential there. And as far as for the upside is concerned, we know that $30 is a psychological area. And upon getting to $30, it needs to reclaim 32.50 and then we can start seeing it 
it break out. Also, when we went on Fintel, taking a look at the short interest information, it does continue to have short squeeze potential. Plus on top of that, institutions are loading up on shares. So this is great news for long-term investors. So if you are thinking about getting into a position, do your homework, do your due diligence. And also, like I was saying in the previous video, keep an eye on what's going on in the overall market. We had the CPI data that came out and it was higher than expected. So as far as the pullback that we saw, it wasn't surprising. Yes, there ended up being a a lot of buying at the beginning of the day but if you know and you're aware that hey the 10-year yield is going up it is well over two percent cpi came in high there was going to be a pullback so that's why you cannot be greedy and make sure that you protect your profits so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i can't wait to see how lucid performs going into tomorrow we'll talk soon